The Anderson Mullins family of Eastern Kentucky is a proud independent family. Their enduring spirit and strong values are forged in England, Scotland, and Ireland, and further strengthened in the rugged coal fields in the isolated region of Appalachia called Kentucky. The broad coves, long stretches of river bottoms, and clusters of ridges found there reminded them of the glens and coves of their native homeland. Old words and customs were brought across the mountains from Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, and the Carolinas. It was a long, difficult struggle before their roots took hold in the soil of eastern Kentucky. In the springtime in April and May, the hills would be just covered with uh, redbud trees and dogwood. It was just beautiful. And the crabapple trees would bloom, and it was just really a, a very pretty time. Then toward October uh, is when the leaves would start to turn and everything. And then the hills would just be on fire from the maple trees and the uh, poplar trees and all the leaves and everything that uh, uh, were changing color. I loved the mountains. One of my favorite things was the, uh, the violets that first appeared in the spring. The political and religious disarray that shrouded Western Europe in the late 16th and 17th centuries made the faraway new world of the colonies an attractive prospect. Crowded cities, poverty, and widespread famine forced them to search for a better life across a dangerous and unfriendly sea. The immigrants began a long and tedious and dangerous trip toward the new world. They traveled under extremely harsh conditions on a journey that took many months over storm-tossed seas. They had few provisions and never knew if they would have enough to last until the voyage ended. Their bunks were bare and cold, six feet long and two feet wide stacked one upon the other in the ship's hold. Crowded into rat-infested cargo ships with unsanitary conditions, many arrived diseased and destitute. Others perished. Some arrived to be disappointed by the promises of land that were not kept. Many had their passages paid for by a sponsor. Once on shore, they were indentured for seven years before they could start their new lives. <laughs> 